Welcome back to SV Just Dreaming. You know, one thing about the Bahamas that I did not expect was caves, but because the islands are made of limestone, and at one time they were all underwater, um, these caves were formed, and a lot of them are just really beautiful. This is Mr. Hamilton in the silver van. He's leading us up to the cave that is on his own private land. He's going to give us a private tour of the Bahamas' largest uh, cave. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, these are supposed to be the largest caves in the Bahamas, actually, uh -huh. that have been discovered so far. Okay. And science believe they were formed by the seawater, the ocean, not the tide, and eroded it out. You will see the water receded about 15,000 years ago. There. Okay. Ready? We got it. I think so. Yes, we are ready. Okay. Watch your head now, eh? Uh-huh. Yep. They remove that much dirt to fertilize their crops. Yes. I see. Uh huh. Wow, you got some natural light coming in from up here, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Along the path, you see a lot of holes in the ceiling. Oh. That's where the caves were underwater. Uh huh. Look at the pressure from the ocean, the water was spinning around, you see? And it eroded a lot of holes. I see. Some, some eroded straight through, but some didn't quite make it. Wow, this is just beautiful. I and know. then, right here on this column here, you'll see names of 1865. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right here. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, there we go. I got it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's from 1865. Yes. Oh, Constance. Yeah, people that, that probably came to collect back water. Yeah. But our family had purchased this property from the British Crown in 1847. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is it loud? It's very close by the opening stage, yeah. You can hear it. But the others look more prepared than I was. Sure. During the hurricanes. Yes. Yeah, I suppose you'd have to have your food and everything ready to go down here. Right? Yeah. This is the most amazing thing coming up here. This is just incredible. This. Oh yeah. Your daughter? Your brother? Brother did that. Oh, look at that. Wow. Huh. Let's see how it would work out. Looks like it's working out. I have some other plans if it doesn't. <laughs> okay. So you can see the green stuff on the wall. The green stuff. Yes. <clears throat> the scientists say that's some type of moss. Uh huh. In 1980, they did a study on it. And uh, in the paper they did on it, they tell you. Uh, they were actually compared to the moss they found somewhere over in uh, Europe. Oh, really? 
and then they tell you what conditions they grow under and how they fertilize and all that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, don't get too close. It's always fire. <laughs> no, it ain't gonna be. Yeah, but your trees are going to be beautiful in here. They really add something to it. Yes. You know? See the uh, roots coming down? Uh huh. This is the root from the tree they call the strangler fig. It's a wild, like something like a banyan tree. Okay, I was yeah. going to say banyan tree, yeah. but okay. So these haven't broken off, they're still forming. Back here. These have been broken. These are these are done here, but they're still spectacular. Really? Wow. That is cool. What happens if you see the rainwater erodes it? Yeah. Okay. This goes on forever, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Amazing. This is... Wow. Well, this is so big, I'll have to do a whole YouTube ep episode just on this cave. That's amazing. Hmm? Oh yeah, I see him. Oh, he's flapping his wings. There's three, four of them up there. get people that want to go splunking? Not like that, no. no, it's not that tight. Tunnels are... Wow, I just... This is so big. Can't get over. The formation of that about... Mm -hmm. People standing up down there. Yeah. <laughs> It is sunset officially now.